Sharks are among the top predators in the animal kingdom who help regulate the complicated food chain in our oceans. Marine scientists are studying how the food they eat can be a litmus test for the health of our oceans. Our Elizabeth Cook hopped aboard a ship in the Pacific to show us. Oh my gosh, there he is. Pulling a seven foot long shark out of the water turned out to be a lot easier than you might expect. Hey, look what I caught. Marine scientists from Oregon State University do this so they can study them and learn from them. I got I'm you. Crank him up to sure. touch. Hi. Dr. Taylor Chapel directs the university's um, big fish research mature, program. Whether this male is mature or not. So what kind of shark is this? So this is a broad nose seven gill shark. He doesn't seem to mind that you're doing all these things to him. They get pretty chill when they're on the boat. They yeah. So we've got an aerator coming through. So right now he's He's calm. Sure. So your job, so you're going to take okay. your hand, you're going to hold his nose okay. right here. Okay. These fish, sharks, are the best way to understand not just how they live, but where they live. A healthy shark means a healthy ocean. I got it all under control. Don't worry. Don't worry. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Good. You got it. Nice. Dr. Chapel and members of the university team have studied 350 oh. sharks in this one bay. Total 221. Willapa Bay in the state of Washington, just north of the Oregon border. There are 15 different kinds of species in and around the area. Now, why this species right now? So seven gills are really an indicator of the health of your ecosystem and the ones that maintain and manage the ecosystem. Sharks are an apex species, meaning they are at the top of the food chain. If what they are eating is healthy, then that is an indicator of the health of the water. And that matters too for many of the people who live here and depend on fishing for their livelihoods. So we'll actually collect the stomach contents from the individual shark. Part of the examination Jess Schulte will do is figure out what the sharks are eating. Right. She is working on a PhD on sharks' diet. And today, another shark. They're also generalist predators, so they'll eat basically whatever's in front of them. Even if it's another shark. Even if it's another shark. Back in the lab, what they learn from the shark is analyzed. We've actually got a jaw here of some animal. No surprise, this is a healthy shark. Has it been difficult to get people to care about sharks because of, frankly, the bad rap they've gotten over the years? Yeah, people are interested in sharks. They like to watch a show about sharks, but when it comes to people opening their wallet to support the research, it's really, really difficult. But because of what he and his team have been able to do here, they can say this one bay is healthy. You're free, buddy. You did great. Elizabeth Cook, CBS News, Willapa Bay, Washington.